Hi, now we will discuss the second problem that is to find train value of epicyclic gear train by algebraic method. So, the question is an epicyclic gear train is shown in figure the number of teeth. So, this is the figure the number of teeth on wheel A, B, C are 48, 24, and 50 respectively. The arm this arm rotates at 400 rpm clockwise find speed of wheel c when a is fixed in the second case speed of wheel a when c is fixed so first write what are the given data an epicyclic gate and shown in figure this is figure a b c are 48 24 and 50 teeth respectively mean z a 48 mean number of teeth on a 48 number of teeth on B 24 number of teeth on C 50 so 48 24 50 respectively and arm rotates mean an arm speed of arm equal to 400 rpm clockwise so clockwise mean positive so first write this uh, this data now can draw one small figure A B C epicyclic given now you know the method so train value so train value is given by Z A by Z C here plus Z A by Z C because three gears are there one two three so first one and last one rotates at same direction so if only two gears are there then this becomes minus Z A by Z B because both will rotate in opposite direction but first and here first and last gear rotates in same direction first one and last one so it is positive so Z A by Z C so 48 by 50 means uh, teeth on first gear by teeth on last gear 48 by 50 so this is equation 1 now also TV train value is given by speed of last gear minus speed of R divided by speed of first gear minus speed of R so speed of so you can say speed of last gear is in NC this is the last gear by n arm divided by n a means speed of first gear by speed of arm so this is equation 2 so equate these two first equation and second equation you can write so 48 by 50 equal to n c minus n r divided by n a minus n r so this is the equation now first case case 1 when a is fixed what is speed of c what is speed of gear c when a is fixed so apply the values here so 48 by 50 mean this 48 by 50 equal to n c minus n r that is 400 divided by n a 0 because a is fixed minus 400 so you will get n c equal to 16 rpm so n c you have to find it means speed of gear c so n c equal to 16 rpm next second case when c is fixed find out value of gear a mean speed of gear a so apply the values 48 by 50 equal to now in the place of n c you have to apply 0 because c is fixed minus 400 mean speed of r divided by n a that one you have to find out minus 400 means speed of r so find the value of a that is minus 16.667 rpm here minus sign indicate it rotates counter clockwise mean speed of a mean uh, rotation direction of gear a is counter clockwise so minus 16.67 na here nc 16 rpm by algebraic method